Hello everybody, Satchel here, and I am so excited to be playing a brand new series of Sherlock Holmes, The Devil's Daughter. I have been waiting for a while now. I saw this in Steam, and it was like 50 bucks, and I was like, eh, I don't know. It might be worth it. Like, I'd really like to try it, but I just don't know that I want to spend 50 bucks on a game for a series I've never played. And it actually went on sale yesterday for like 60 or 70% off. Something crazy. It was like, I don't know, something around 20 bucks. And I'm like, oh, it's very worth it. I, I will spend 20 bucks on this. So here we are. Brand new series. We're going to jump right into this. Um, I've turned the music down a little bit. If it's too loud, we'll mess with it later. But um, I want to get right into this. So um, here we go. Take on... Oh. What is this? Keen Detective or Master Sleuth? Um, Keen Detective. I've never played this before. I've, I don't know what I'm doing. We'll go with the normal level. You can always open the case book to check your current progress in the investigation. Tasks, evidence, etc. Missed an important piece of phrase and dialogue. You can always open the case book. Okay, so our case book is very important, apparently. Yep, yep. Okay, so we can go. Imagine there'll be quite a few cutscenes, so I'll uh, I'll try to be quiet. He did. Oh, I do apologize. Am I disturbing you? No, please. Do come in, Mrs. My name is Miss Alice de, de Bouvier. Bouvier. I'm Mr. Holmes. Of course neighbor. it is. Oh. I didn't have the pleasure to. Uh, I am Dr. John Watson. Oh, that's Can Watson. you with any assistance? Oh, she is not the concern, Watson. I'm. <laughs> then what is this about? Oh, that child standing sniffling behind her. Get rid of him, Watson. But he is shivering with cold, and he is upset. What happened to him? Little Tom knocked at the wrong door. Oh, for crying out loud. Oh, boy, come in. Warm yourself by the fire. Can I offer you a cup of tea, Mr. Bouvier? Well, I... It is not as though we are disturbing you-know-who, are we? I suppose not. Since you are our new neighbor, it is perhaps better that you know what he's like. You're starting to worry me. Well, Mr. Holmes is relapsing. His illness that he has seizes him when he finds himself with nothing to do. He becomes completely asocial. And alas, this is a, that is a very sweet difficult vest. medically incurable case. Now this must stay between us. Of course, I understand. How very sad. Yeah, such but there sarcasm. is a cure, if only a temporary one. A thrilling inquiry. Most certainly. If he refuses this one, then his condition will worsen. Oh, I am still here, you know. I didn't fall out of the window. Um very well then. Thank you, miss. Okay. Uh why are you here? Build a character portrait by paying close attention to the details and determining their meaning. Um Red eyes. 
Uh, I'm going to say recent weeping. Malnutrition. Tom is eight. Yep. Probably not neatly mended. Caring parents. Okay. Still missing something here. Oh, map of London. Can read and use a map. All right. What else do we have here? Lame arm. Um, it looks it's kind of skinny. I'm gonna say malformation. Tom is eight years old. His clothes are well worn and have multiple patches neatly applied. Tom's parents are concerned for his well-being. His pale skin indicates he is suffering from malnutrition. He looks sad and has red eyes. Nope. Um. Nope. How? Oh, there we go. He has been weeping very recently. Tom's malformation could have been caused by his mother's poor nutrition during pregnancy. Why are you here? Now tell me, boy, what brings you here? It's... It's my father, sir. He's missing. I... I don't know what to do. Um... Missing? Missing, eh? And what do the police say? The police? They don't believe me. They say he's just abandoned me. But that's a lie. Caring parents. Obviously. Your clothes are well mended and you can read. Your parents may be poor, but you are loved. Yeah, well, it's just the two of us now. My mother died when I was a little one. And that's just one more reason for not leaving you. Your father doesn't seem the irresponsible type. He's very good to you. Well, that's right. But he has no fixed work, so he often takes odd jobs for the day. Because that's all he can find. Mm. Only this time, he didn't come home. Okay, um, what's his name? What's his name? George Hurst, sir. And what happened? And when was the last time you saw him? Three weeks ago. He left for a new job. But this time, he was acting a bit strange and angry. Hmm. Strange how? Strange? In what way? He said to me, Son, I'm out on a special job. Don't you dare move from here. I think something went wrong. Three long weeks. Three weeks? That's a long time. Well, every day I thought he would show up. And anyway, I can look after myself. Yeah, you're eight years old after all. Oh, what were you thinking? You and your father are both at risk. You should have come to me much earlier. I was afraid. I ain't got no family, and I've got no other place to go. If our landlord finds out that father left me, he'll throw me out on the street. Tom, you've been very resourceful. We shall be discreet. I don't know if I got that if one right. If only my mother was still here. Well, let's go. Very well. Your address, please, Tom. 12 Dorset Street, the first floor, door E. It's in Whitechapel, sir. I ain't got no money to pay. Who asked for money, Tom? Your case seems to be the very medicine I need. I'll meet you there shortly. Oh, thank you, sir. Okay, what do we have here? Um. My archive. I can always consult with it if needed. Okay. My archive. I can always consult with it if needed. Yep, we know that. What do we have back here? My analysis table. It's useful for my work. Watson? We need to help Tom find his father, Holmes. I'm working on that. Just want to get acquainted here. Make sure I've got everything I need. Okay, that's that way. What's back here? Ah. 
What do we have here? What's in documents our adventures in here? What's in documents our adventures in here? Oh, sorry. Didn't mean to do that twice. Um, I guess that's it. This must be Watson's room. Oh, hey. Oh, no, not what I wanted. Brave Toby. The best nose in the British Empire. Okay, is this run? Yes, okay. So what was the imagination thing? Okay. Concentration. I just want to look around a little bit more. Make sure there's nothing else here. Controls are a little tricky, but they're not bad. Ah. A living, thriving London. Okay. There's no mini-map to speak of. Hello there, copper. You don't talk, do you? Um, hmm. Nope. Oh, here we go. First person. Ah, yes, Whitechapel. Open our casebook here. Eight. Malnutrition. Cares for him. Okay, we're gonna do all that. Let's continue. These streets are too narrow for the cab. I'll have to walk. Okay. What's this guy doing? What are you doing? Oh, he's working. Okay, he's working on that. Let's, uh, North Street. Is this it? Is this where we need to be? Sorry, I'm working. I can't open the door. Okay. Not where we need to be. Try this one. Nobody. Oh, wait. Dorset Street. Dorset Street. It said 12 Dorset Street. Look at this poor guy. The pub. Oh, we could. Can we go in the pub? Hey, you okay, pal? Can we go in here? I don't feel thirsty. Yeah, right okay. Now. Probably not a good idea. Yes, okay. 12 Dorset Street. Okay, so that was 14. 15. Wait. Wait. 12. It said door E? Is that? Oh, no. Nope. What am I doing? What am I doing? X. There we go. Room E. Yep. Okay, that takes me outside. A, B, C. D, E. Yep. E. This is our home, Mr. Holmes. Hmm. I don't know what this is supposed to do for me. Something gonna like light up or right? I mean, oh, here we go. Something's in the pocket, piece of paper. Old Tabard Pub. I knew I needed to go there. The Old Tabard Pub, North Street. The Old Tabard okay, Pub. Yep. Oh, wait. I should have. Let's rotate it. Anything on the back? Nope. Okay. Is there anything else? Can I go up there? No. Uh, oh, wait. Yeah, I can. What is that? It's too dark. I can't see. Okay, too dark. Need a light.
Objects marked with the exclamation symbol are to be used further in your investigation. Okay. The Strand Magazine. Huh. So that's why you came to see me. Okay. Ah, here we go. Yep. I can use things, right? Yes. Wax candle. How do I use it? Um, maybe he'll do it once he gets up there. Climb that ladder, Sherlock. Yes, there we go. Okay, yep, move that out of the way. What do we have here? Satchel. What's in? Nope. What about Matt? Oh, right there. There we go. Hello there, George. I know that it's difficult for you to find a job, and you need to feed and clothe your son. So I've attached this letter to a pub letter. Uh, I've attached this letter a pub leaflet. Heard there's a fellow there who's offering a special job. Maybe it will help you. I hope so. Good luck. Okay. Was that all that was in there? I guess. Yep. It's green now. And that's everything up here. Okay. Let's head back down. Right. Let's keep looking here. Okay, what do we have here? Ah, uh, William G. All rents paid. Okay, so one month's rent at one pound and five shillings. Paid. Oh, this one must be due. Hurst covered his bills ahead of time, thus providing Tom with security and sustenance. Okay. My mother saw... She died when I was very young. My father told me what she was like, but that's all I have. I see. I'm sorry, Tom. My mother left me when I was very young, too. All right. All right. Got something over here. Food's running low. It's already three weeks since George Hurst's disappearance. Uh -huh. Well, I can see the preparations for peasant soup, a clever concoction for somebody with apparently no culinary skills. Peasant soup. Hmm. Can I pull back this curtain? Guess not. Anything here? A collection of worn out and second hand books. George Hurst was providing his son with the best education that he could afford. Father bought all those books for me. He didn't tell me but I know that he pawned his coat for them. What a guy. I really like this guy already. One bed. No, there's two beds. Okay. Okay, what do we have here? The roof leaks all the time. Father used to fix it. Yeah, we did that. Okay. Um, don't need to go up there. There's nothing there. Let's use this to look around. Yeah, I don't see anything. Okay, let's talk to the boy. Please, sir, find my father. I'm working on it, pal. I'm working on it. Alright, I think we need to head to the pub. Um... I tell you what, yeah, let's let's head to the pub. Okay, let's use third person. I feel like that's a little bit better. Okay, actually no, let's go back. Hey, what do we have here? A little game of chess going on. Okay, here's the pub. I don't feel thirsty right now. But that's where I need to be, right? What do we have here? Candle. The Hearst House. Wait a minute. Am I missing something? I don't think I am. Let's go back. Said items with an exclamation are to be used to further. 
It keeps telling me to do this, but I've already done that. Am I missing something else? I don't think so. No. Okay. Um, hmm. Bed hasn't been slept in. We know the books. We know that stuff. Please so Yep, I'm 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 working on it, buddy. I promise. I hope you'll find my father soon. Um yeah, I'm trying. Okay, that. We've already done that. Is there anything else? Get this again. Glue. Oh. Probably taken from there the was wall. something on the back. Well, well, well. Find out more information about the special job at the old tavern pub. <laughs> That's all I had to do, huh? Okay. Let's head to the pub. Uh-oh. What do we have here? Good day, Mr. Holmes. Well, if it isn't young Wiggins. And I see you found yourself a job. If you can call it that. I hate it. But if, if you've got any proper work for me... I just might be in need of your assistance later. Wait here. Alright. Let's get in here. I need to earwig to find out who is offering this special job. Need to earwig, huh? Right. There's no one to eavesdrop on from here. Ah, here we go. Oh, that's a cool mechanic. Oh, that's that's difficult. The man who's offering that special job has a proper set of mutton chop whiskers. Mutton chop whiskers, huh? All right, let's try that again. Come on, yes. Equality for the working class. No, I didn't. Help. I'm glad I'm my own boss. I can complain only to myself or to Watson. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's sit right here. Have us our, ourselves a little a card game. Law sent your kids to school instead of the coal mine. Okay, keep them in the middle. Oh, that's difficult. No, no, no. That fellow who's offering the special jobs, he never drinks alcohol. He's got mutton chops, never drinks alcohol. So, the man I'm looking for has whiskers and never drinks alcohol. Well, could probably be this guy, the only one left, sitting here drinking water. What's up? You the guy I'm looking for? The longer the picket line, the shorter the strike! So, what am I supposed to do? Oh, here we go. Alright. Beard. Whiskers. Yep. And water. This must be the man that I'm looking for. I think you are. Hold right trigger to skip time. Oh wow, that's pretty cool. What exactly is he doing? He's just drinking his water like a madman. said missing, right? Yeah. Another missing person? Interesting. 
a missing person. I should find out more. Okay. What does it say? Start of October, Mr. John Strowbridge went missing from Dorset Street under mysterious circumstances. If you have any information, please contact Mrs. Strowbridge at 5 Dorset Street. Thank you in, in advance for any information to help. Is there something else? Ah, yes. Uh, here. Old Tavern Pub. Alright. I am going... Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. Um, I am going to leave this. Well, actually, I guess I'm not going to leave this right here. We've got a cutscene. You see that gentleman? I need you to follow him and report back to me. All right, Mr. Holmes. We'll get to it. He's getting away. Oh, I've got to do it. Okay. Um, I'm going to leave it here. I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. Um, hope you enjoyed this series. This is something different. It's not your first person shooter or anything like that. So, uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy it. And if you do, be sure and leave a like. Le leave a comment. Let me know what you think. And, uh, oh, okay. Um, let me know what you think. And until next time, if I don't talk to you before. I'll talk to you later.